What's good Raider Nation, it's your boy Sanji back at it with an all 22 breakdown of the week 2 matchup Raiders vs Rams, specifically the 5th round rookie. Honestly, Nate Hobbs looks like a superstar. Let's get into it. Let's break it down. We're going to start with this first play. This play is actually some criticism of Hobbs. You guys can check the play out. You guys see this is the first third down of the game, third and four. As you guys see this play, uh, the quarterback's going to roll out, and I'm not sure exactly what happens here, but as you guys can see, uh, here's Nate Hobbs. In my opinion, I, I think he should have potentially picked this guy up and, and, and taken that away or commit to the quarterback take off get in there get after the quarterback uh, maybe that wasn't his job maybe that wasn't his responsibility but either way there's a guy wide open here I i'd want nate hobbs to close this down maybe have less of a gap so he can when the quarterback does throw it he can break this pass incomplete now football awareness is a big part of playing the game and i'm not saying hobbs doesn't have it because hobbs as you'll see a little bit later on does so many great things again we're going to get into every single one of those but i do want to be critical as well he has to recognize there's three players on the right side of the defense here um, and he has to understand that i see one guy right here now he doesn't know where this receiver is right because he is looking you know towards the inside here uh, but you're gonna see that hobbs is gonna look to his right if you guys missed it it's kind of hard to see but he's gonna turn his head to the right you can see his helmet move right there um he's he's gonna see that basically there's one guy to his right that means there's one guy to his left he doesn't necessarily know where this guy is but he has to make a decision and third and four this is a first down obviously this play here specifically does come back but i want to see improvement right then and there the hold comes here on solomon thomas solomon thomas gets to the inside of that that uh that guy right there um but yeah man there's the play you guys see it from the back side again i don't think nate hobbs should go after the quarterback i, I think there's rules that gus Bradley puts in you know quarterback rolls out there's a guy that's gonna go after him maybe it's the backside linebacker here maybe it's the front side linebacker maybe it's the front side corner either way there's rules that gus Bradley implements um, and I'm sure Nate Hobbs understands those rules, but I do want to see him him close it close it down. I, I don't want to allow number 17 to have this much space because that's one of the only places the quarterback's going to potentially throw the ball to. Either way, critical play. Let's jump forward. So that third and four play because of the hold turns into a third and 14. And this is the big play that everyone saw. Everyone was pumped up because Nate Hobbs continued doing his thing, man. Uh, we saw so many great plays week one from Hobbs and week two. He just continued it, man. Look at this play. He blows this guy up. Now, here's the thing, right? Uh, as this play begins, you're going to see that this wide receiver right here is going to take two steps to his right. And typically, most cornerbacks are going to react to those two steps to the right. But not Nate Hobbs, man. Uh, and for a second, he does think about it, right? Watch Hobbs. He kind of turns a little bit, right? He takes that right step forward. He kind of turns his body to the left to mimic this receiver. Uh, but look at how quickly he reacts. He sees that there's enough space right here that he can just go straight at the quarter, but at the at the wide receiver. Uh, and he does. And he blows it up. And he gets close to potentially intercepting this pass, man. Like, could you imagine if he jumps this just a second sooner, picks it off and scores a touchdown? Uh, either way, the guy catches it and Hobbs blows it up. Like the guy barely just caught the ball and Hobbs blows the play up for a loss of three to four yards. Great play by Hobbs. Uh, you know, when this play initially happened, I was kind of scared that is that a helmet to helmet hit? Is the flag about to come out? Um, and you guys saw, obviously that did not happen. Great play by Nate Hobbs. And he does this so many different times. I'm gonna show you guys plays that there's no stat for. There's nothing there that, you know, you guys are going to have just missed the play and you guys would have never known if it wasn't for the all 22 film. Uh, at the same time, it's very clear watching it from here. Hobbs does a great job. Look at his helmet. Look at where his helmet lands. It lands right below to that right shoulder of that wide receiver. He wraps up and he takes the guy down. He lets him go. He doesn't drive him to the ground. He doesn't do anything in which he would be penalized for. And look at Trayvon Merrick, man. He's pumped up right there. Let's jump into the next play. So that last play was third and 14 or whatever it was. The They ended up punting the ball. I think the Raiders scored on that drive. So this is the second drive. First play of the second drive. Watch Nate Hobbs and watch him just take the underneath the way. Now, this is something you would never see on the broadcast angle. 
when you watch Hobbs, look at how he takes that away. Even Trayvon Merrick does a nice job to slow that guy down, right? Again, this is a, a play action from the backside. Quarterback is going to get, you know, hit, hit that rollout. Um, and then watch Hobbs, man. He just takes the underneath away. Like, that is beautiful. And he even gets his head turned around. Merrick slows him down enough. This is just a nice coverage play. And, of course, the receiver catches the ball. Everything is kept underneath, and once the receiver catches the ball, you get up there and you just shut it down. It's only a gain of one or two yards. This is what the Raiders defense has been doing. Love the way he gets his hands on the receiver just to slow him down enough, right? Re make him readjust his route for him, and then turn around, get underneath that, and then come up, react. Uh, and if the receiver breaks a tackle, you help make the tackle, but really nice job by Hobbs again I'm going to be showing you guys a ton of these type of plays so if you guys are interested in this video go ahead and turn the video off at this point but this is the type of stuff I'll be showing you let's jump forward into the next play jumping forward two or three plays later Nate Hobbs in the slot watch him come up help defend the run get in there to help kind of make the tackle nice job right nothing explosive nothing crazy typical play but this is something that we want to see from our rookies we want to see them be involved in run support cleveland does a great job he gets past this he initially is one of the guys that makes the play and then you see number 39 rookie come in there get his shoulder pad in there and make sure the running back isn't falling forward for the extra two or three yards which sometimes happens great job hobbs let's get into the next one Alright guys, so two plays later, Nate Hobbs, it looks like it's man-to-man -man coverage, or, you know, it is man-to-man -man coverage. You guys can watch this play. Uh, this is Hobbs, man, in man-to-man -man coverage. Not a bad job, if you ask me. Uh, pretty good coverage. Just wanted to kind of throw this play out there, because I know there's not a lot of clips of Nate Hobbs where you guys can kind of watch him throughout the whole entire play. Here's one of those plays. You guys can go ahead and watch it. Uh, it kind of gives you guys a feel of, of what he can do in man-to-man. -man. Uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and jump forward into the next play. Jumping forward a couple plays later, here's Nate Hobbs. He's going to be blocked by uh, number 15 here, wide receiver. The play is away from him, but I want you guys to watch Hobbs and watch him shed the block. I'm going to show you guys other plays in which he sheds or avoids the blocker. Uh, I showed you guys one of the plays earlier in this video. I think it was the second play. Uh, in which he avoided the blocker and he blew the screen pass up for a loss of three or four yards. It was like third and 14. Um, here's another play. There it is. You guys can kind of uh, watch it. Look at how he gets past the block. Now, he doesn't do anything, right? But that's not the point of this play. Uh, I'm showing you guys because even though the run is to the left, you know, running backs can always cut it back and try coming back uh, to the inside. I'm showing it to you guys so you guys can kind of get a feel for the type of uh, block shedder that Hobbs is and he's big man look at how much bigger he is than number 15 right there that's you know that's some impressive size if you ask me but let's go ahead and move forward all right guys here's Nate Hobbs I uh, believe this is a cover three you're gonna see Hobbs drop into the curl flats there it is very interesting man very 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 interesting the way he drops uh if you guys look at him relative to the quarterback the quarterback's looking to his right right here right now and again the strong side is to the quarterbacks right this is the strong side this is where the quarterback likely wants to go you're gonna see Hobbs first and foremost drop back and take this guy away and then after that the quarterback is potentially looking to throw the ball here and you're gonna see Hobbs take that away as well and the quarterback quickly goes away from that again this isn't that much space right if Hobbs felt that the quarterback is still looking to his right Hobbs would continue dropping back, and he kind of does, as you guys can see. Had the quarterback thrown this ball, I think Hobbs picks that off. But this is a play you guys are never going to see on the broadcast angle, so that's why I want to show it to you guys. You guys can watch Hobbs and, and kind of get a feel for the way he drops when he's asked to play the slot, that cover, um, you know, that cover three um, from the slot, dropping back into the curl flats. Also, another important part, this is third and four, third and five, so Hobbs understands that this you know the, the first down is is somewhere right about here I, I don't know if it's exactly that that 30 yard hash mark but he takes that away and then he kind of jumps backwards as well it's a pretty nice play either way let's go ahead and jump forward all right you guys check this play out great play uh here's Hobbs this is going to be a read option between the two the quarterback and the running back 
Um, Hobbs doesn't know this is a read option, right? What he knows is I'm gonna fill this gap and look at how quickly he fills the gap. I, I feel like Hobbs has this crazy quickness, this crazy burst, and I like it. I really, really like it. So there's Hobbs, check it out, and then we'll kind of get into it. Uh, obviously, the quarterback keeps the ball, but Hobbs, man, he, he, he shuts this down. Had the quarterback actually handed this off, um, again, Hobbs doesn't know who has the ball at the moment, even right now like it's it's still kind of it's kind of tough uh, even at this point but what Hobbs does do is he shoots this gap like you know the the intensity he brings that's interesting man he has this explosiveness to him uh, let's just look at it from the back side if you guys want to check it out I don't know if Hobbs is even visible I guess he's right there um, very interesting he kind of gets in there a Roderick teamer nice nice little hit uh, that's the guy I think is going to be the fifth safety on this roster. I, I really liked what I saw from him this game, but let's go ahead and jump forward in the next play. All right, guys, jumping into the next play. Uh, here is Nate Hobbs. You're going to see him. He's going to come in on a blitz. Interestingly, uh, this blitz looks a little bit different. Um, you guys can see it here. Uh, I mean, Hobbs has this explosive ability in his game, man. Like, look at how fast and explosive he is. Like, he just beats the tackle in there, and obviously he misses, but uh, the pressure's there. You know, there's there's really nowhere else for the quarterback to go. Uh, this could have potentially been a first uh, first down, right? If, if the receiver turns around quick enough as the quarterback throws, he kind of throws it high as well. But uh, Nate Hobbs, man, that's, that's an explosive play. Now, uh, interestingly, if you guys remember, the play against Geno Smith, he came off the edge, right? Like, he, he came from the side. This one, he's going to come on the inside of the tackle. And notice how this guy, I don't know if that's Gary Green, I believe it is. Notice how Green's going to take two steps up and then he's going to drop back in coverage. Um, there it is. He drops back and then Hobbs shoots that gap. That's very, very interesting. And it looks like he kind of gets pushed by the linebacker. I think that's, I'm sorry, Bilal. I think it's 57. That's what it looks like. Yeah, so that's who that is. Um, nice play by Hobbs though, man. And I'm sure he's upset, man. I'm sure he wanted that... Uh, uh, that sack so very interesting but they kind of do run into each other and I think Hobbs kind of gets pushed uh, either way you got to make that play you you absolutely have to make the play you cannot wrap up the quarterback uh, because a good quarterback you know truth be told a, a good quarterback hits this for a first down right here right a good quarterback might you know instead of just continue to run they might take three steps to the right here right not steps but like they might not run forward they might run sideways um, and even then, maybe a good quarterback hits this guy. There's room right there to potentially get bit this ball into the sideline. Um, either way, Nate Hobbs, nice play. You gotta, you gotta bring him down. Absolutely, you have to bring him down. But from a design perspective, I love this. Like even the linebacker kind of takes two steps to the back, kind of looks like he's about to go away. And then boom, here he comes. Again, interesting design. I like Gus. What I see from Gus Bradley so far, man. Uh, let's go ahead and get into the next play. All right, you guys. So at this point, we're you know we're at the point where uh, the Raiders are now bringing in their you know third to fourth string players, the guys that are on the roster bubble. Uh, but Nate Hobbs, I, I don't know. I believe this is him. He he is asked to now play the outside because of the fact that fact that Arnett is out. Um, I wanted to show you guys this play. Nothing to do with Nate Hobbs, but because of uh, Nevin Lawson, right? And now here's the thing, right? I, I've been saying that. I think we're fine with Nevin Lawson in the slot, um, and I'm okay with his coverage abilities. He's not great, but he's not so poor that you can't get through a season with him. Now, I will say this. When it comes to run defense, this is why Nevin Lawson is, is he's not going to start. Nevin Lawson has 0% shot of starting. Honestly, I don't even think the Raiders should keep him on the roster. I, I don't think there's a point i would rather even as a backup slot corner i would rather just have amik robertson be the backup slot now amik robertson has made a case for himself on the outside i, I think he right now uh right after damon arnett i think number four corner for the raiders on the outside it, it's a meek I, I honestly think so he, he's done a great job this preseason but watch nevin lawson uh, i talk too much i apologize but watch nevin lawson uh look at how the running back just beats him to the outside you have to contain the edge if you are playing, especially in a 4-3 defense. Um, I remember the announcer made a comment regarding, and because the, there was a penalty on this play, saying that the, the penalty is the Raiders couldn't hold the edge. And I laughed because this is the frustrating part of being a Raiders fan at times. And Nevin Lawson is a veteran. You know better. You don't let this 
you know, the, the receiver goes to the inside on purpose because he wants um, he wants Lawson to kind of think that the, the run is to the inside, and it is technically, right? Uh, but you're going to see that basically the linebacker 53, Javen White, blows it up. He shoots the gap, and the running back sees it. Great job by the running back. Loss, uh, Javen White would have blown this play up, and the running back cuts it out, and Lawson here doesn't have the outside contain. Horrible. At the same time, Malcolm Kuntz also gets held, and that's where the uh, play comes back. Now, uh, you could say it's Kuntz's fault not holding the edge. You could say it's Lawson's fault. Either way, someone has to hold the damn edge, and all I know is Nate Hobbs is a better player than Evan Lawson, and I'm excited about Hobbs. Let's jump forward. Hey right, guys, here's Nate Hobbs on the bottom of your screen. Again, he's playing outside corner. Man-to-man uh, -man situation, you guys can look at it and make your own judgment. Like... That's pretty good coverage if you ask me. You know, it, it's not great coverage, but it's not bad. Like, I, I think he does a pretty nice job. Um, and of course, Amik Robertson, man, you, you watch him right here. Look at how he tracks the quarterback, runs in there, and boom, gets a hit on the quarterback. Great job by uh, uh, Amik there. Hobbs as well, great job. We can just check this play out from the back side. I don't think you're gonna get the, the corners in it. You might, you guys can just check it out just to, just to you know, be fully transparent. Um, you know, Darius Phylon gets some pressure, uh, you get a, a penalty on that play, obviously, but uh, let's go ahead, man, and let's just get into a couple more plays. Getting into a play a, a couple of snaps later, Nate Hobbs, bottom of your screen. Watch out how quickly he reacts, and although this isn't the typical uh, shed of a block, in a way, it's still avoiding a block, and watch how quickly he avoids this block. Um, he sees the catch and then boom he dips his shoulder and gets past it real quickly and again he's the outside corner um, that's that's a nice job right there in my opinion he gets past it so quickly understand the receiver knows it's a screen right as do all these other guys they're blocking this as a screen the guy knows all he has to do is block Nate Hobbs like he has no other responsibility right he's not running a route he's not doing anything else and watch Hobbs and just how quickly he just gets past it. And the guy, even though he knows the play, is not able to, to get there. And I know Hobbs doesn't do anything spectacular in this play. The play comes back anyways, but uh, nice job, man. Definitely a nice job, in my opinion, from Hobbs. And again, it's just another play I want to show you guys. So you guys can see what type of, uh, you know, how Hobbs avoids blocks, how he sheds blocks, stuff like that. I think that's very important, especially if you're a slot corner. Alrighty guys, jumping forward, you know, we're like 16, 17 minutes into this video. Here comes the play of the game. This might be the play that everybody's kind of been waiting for. Uh, here's the interception, man. Nate Hobbs on the bottom of your screen. You guys know I kind of posted this clip on Twitter. A lot of you guys asked questions, specifically why there was a guy left alone at the bottom of your screen. We'll talk about it. You guys can check the video out. Here's Nate Hobbs, man. Just look at the explosiveness, the burst, uh, and just the high pointing of the ball and intercepting the pass great play by nate hobbs again this is the type of stuff uh, you know i'm not i don't want to throw the word around lightly star superstar whatever um but this is stuff that we didn't see from damon arnett his rookie season even in preseason right uh th this isn't the stuff that rookies generally do now we didn't see damon arnett technically last year in preseason uh, let me go ahead and uh, move forward back into the play real quick uh first and ten you see Hobbs, you see Gillespie, um, and one of the things people pointed to was the fact that there was a receiver at the bottom of the screen that was left wide open. You're going to see this receiver do like a, a quick little hitch right here. Um, that's Gillespie's guy, man. Uh, this is a cover three. You guys can tell even the slot guy here. I don't know if that's Merrick or someone else. I can't really tell. Uh, he's going to take the curl flats, right, or flats, however you want to say it. If he takes the curl flats there. The, Gillespie's job was to take the curl flats. Now, I will say this, right? Uh, you're going to see nate hobbs two or three times he's trying to point right you see that hand he's trying to point to gillespie that your guy is back over there um but here's the thing right and and i will say gillespie uh, he has to learn he's a rookie uh, as is hobbs right but um i will say this if gillespie doesn't you know if he's confused he's not 100 percent sure i would rather have him make the wrong mistake and take the deep guy then make the mistake of taking the short guy and Hobbs takes the short guy and it's a touchdown because this guy no one blocks him right i would rather not allow that long play now i think Gillespie did the right thing if you if he was confused or if he misheard the play i think he did the right thing by going with tay outwell the second round pick um but nate hobbs wasn't having it man nate freaking 
Hobbs, man. I, I love this, man. I, I really do love this. And um, I'm really glad the rookie went ahead and got his first interception in the second game of his career. I hope he kept that ball right there that he intercepted. Great job high pointing this pass. Beautiful, man. And again, uh, you you know, you can make the argument that had this been a better throw, and if Gillespie was the only guy in coverage, yeah, that could have potentially been a touchdown. But Nate Hobbs was there, right? And I don't think he would have gotten uh, past Hobbs. So uh, great job by Hobbs. Beautiful interception. And it's time to celebrate, man. Great play. Let's go ahead and jump forward. All right, you guys. Let's jump into the next play. You're going to see Nate Hobbs right here lined up in the slot. Very interesting. He he presses his guy. He does a good job. Um, the guy does an out, a quick out. And he's right there in coverage. Now, the quarterback gets pressured a little bit. And one thing I'm going to notice, you're going to notice is the quarterback gets out of the pressure and look at Hobbs. He's not only covering his guy, but he's trying to help the defense and help his other teammates. This guy's kind of open and the quarterback's going to consider throwing him the ball and Nate Hobbs is going to kind of jump it and the quarterback takes it back. All right, you guys see him kind of jump it. All right, now he kind of leaves his guy, all right, but he's going to quickly get back. He turns around, recognizes that he kind of left his guy. He turns around and runs it, finds his guy ultimately the quarterback throws this pass away but from start to finish if you look at the different things that Hobbs is doing how he's not only covering his guy he's pressing his guy he's potentially jumping a third guy he's potentially getting back to his guy like he does so many different things they're the small things in the game of football and these are the small things it takes to win right and the thing is, is Nate Hobbs is just one player on this defense we have other guys as well that are going to step up and do their thing as well and this is why I'm really excited. Hobbs is one guy, but he's one guy that's having an impact and he's only a rookie. So let's go ahead and get into the next play. All right, guys, jumping into this next play, you're going to see Nate Hobbs on the bottom of your screen. Uh, I'm not sure if this is a cover three. It doesn't look like a cover three on the bottom. Uh, if you watch it on the top, it does look like a cover three. So again, I'm not sure if they're playing cover three up here and then they're playing something else down here. I wouldn't be surprised. One of the things Gus Bradley does a ton is he mixes coverage. He mixes his defense. Uh, Nate Hobbs is going to allow a catch, man. And, um, you know, again, when you're playing cover three, one of the things, and again, it looks like Hobbs is, but doesn't look like Amik Robertson's really covering the curl flats. Um, but if he is playing cover three, that means he would potentially be playing this deep. And he kind of looks like he's playing it. Um, but again, then Amik Robertson at the same time isn't playing here as much. And you're going to see that uh, the the, quarter, the quarterback throws the ball. And, you know, you're going to see it right then and there. That the quarterback throws the ball. He, he throws it in advance. And, of course, they pick up a first down on this play. Um, so it is interesting. Again, I'm not sure. Was it a cover three? Was it not? Um, at the same time, like, you know, the, the pass is thrown, but um, I would love to know what kind of defense this was on this bottom side. And if it was a cover three all around, then why was Amik not covering the flats a little bit more? Either way, these, you know, I, I bring this play up because these are the type of things that deep, the offenses are going to do. They know what the Raiders do. They know what Gus Bradley does. And they know that part of taking advantage of this defense and this team specifically are going to be the quick out routes um because a uh, cover three you know if you got if you got if you get a guy going deep the quick out you know the curl flat has to pick that up um and another thing is, is if you can if the curl flat doesn't get far enough you can run a quick uh curl um just like they do in this play and those those are some of the things those are some of the disadvantages of a cover three right these are some of those plays and and teams aren't stupid they know what gus Bradley does um gus Bradley is not dumb either right he knows what teams are gonna try doing so this play was interesting uh, let's go ahead and get into the next one jumping into this next play i just mentioned it teams know how to beat the cover three when you know when nate hobbs has the deep third that means in this play specifically that means tanner muse has the curl flat so how do you beat it you get this guy to do a quick out route and that's exactly what they're gonna do here on on this play right uh and and i, I highlighted the wrong guy you get one guy going deep and then you have the other guy doing a quick out route and that's you know that's up to tanner muse and the thing is is they're gonna play action this right so when they put that play action in Tanner Muse's eyes are going to be to the inside just to, just for half a second. And that half a second is enough for this guy to do the curl flat and get open. Um, and again, you know, I, I don't know if this is a cover three for sure. Uh, we can kind of just watch the play, I guess, really quickly. Um, 
it does not look like it's a cover three it actually looks like a cover four you can see the four guys dropping back um, but it is similar in, in a cover four in the aspect to a cover three which the way you beat it is with you know this guy has to contain the curl flats and and if he's not out there quick enough you can hit this right and this is the same flaw with the cover three if you have a linebacker that's that's playing that right and i will say this tanner muse is pretty good in coverage a uh, former safety in college um, either way you know you see them hit it for what a 12 13 yard gain um, this is stuff that gus bradley is gonna have to, to figure out kink it out uh, understand that hey you know i need to teach these guys a little bit more i need to coach them up just a little bit more uh, as you guys see right there there's the play let's go ahead and get in the next clip all right guys here comes the play of the game nate hobbs on this play look at him track this backside and break the pass up like this is a completed pass and it became incomplete because of nate hobbs and i love this play man this play right here gets me pumped it gets me excited man completed catch he turns around thinking yeah great i'm gonna run i'm gonna catch this i'm gonna turn my head and i'm gonna make something happen you know he has this pass completed and nate hobbs says nah not here man boom punch it out and you know what's interesting uh one of one of uh one of the guys that writes with me at the las vegas chronicle his name's king ruse um he mentioned it that hey you know what that kind of reminds me of charles Hillman, the corner of the Chicago, Chicago Bears, great corner, and how he used to punch balls out, force fumbles, force incompletions, and he also mentioned how Lovey Smith was Charles Tillman's uh, uh, coach, and if you guys don't know, Lovey Smith was also Nate Hobbs's coach, and this kind of reminds me of that, right, being able to punch the ball out right there, again, this goes from a first down, a completed catch, a potential big play, to no it's just a complete pass move on to the next play great play by nate hobbs man these are the type of plays that make a difference over the course of a game i know these coaches are thinking why didn't we draft that guy either way let's get into the next clip one of the things i like with hobbs that i see is when he presses he does a good job he puts his effort into it he's not scared of guys beating him with speed i mean look at how he reroutes this wide receiver the receiver is literally trying to go to the inside and then come back to the outside right quickly and hobbs doesn't allow him to get off the press that's insane of nate hobbs to do right there he shuts it down basically just pressing the guy man and these are the types of things that you're never gonna see this on a broadcast angle right you have to watch the all 22 and this is why i love watching it man very very impressive with that being stated i'm gonna go ahead and end the video here i hope you guys enjoyed it man if you did hit that thumbs up button smash that subscribe button you guys can always unsubscribe at a later time i hope you guys enjoyed this video i will see you guys next time with another video